Good evening, everyone. Good evening, Pastor. Good evening, Tita Fe. Tita. Good evening, Paul. Alison May, good evening. Anastasia, Giselle. Kuya Manny, good evening po sa inyong lahat. Good evening. Okay, let's start the ball rolling. Aha, uh aha. -huh, uh -huh. Okay, let's start with uh, Tita Josie. Good evening, Tita Josie. Ano po ang inyong uh, prayer request? Good, good evening po, Pastor, at sa inyong lahat. Good Thanksgiving. <clears throat> ang place report po namin ay uh, si, yung po mga anak namin ay nakauwi ng safe and sound sa Indiana. Mm -hmm. Uh, po, sila Jurel po, nakauwi na po sila. At, uh, at saka po yung uh, iningatan po kami sa lahat ng mga pinunta namin na, na naglibot po kami. Salamat mm -hmm. sa ating Panginoon. Ayun po. At uh, ano pa ba? La yung uh, kasiyahan na ipinagkalob sa amin ng Panginoon. Nakapag... Uh, <laughs> nakapag nakatugtog din po siya nung Sunday. Oh, uh, po. Nag uh, nagkasama sama uli sila magkakapatid na nag umaawit at nagpupuri sa ating Panginoon. Totoo <laughs> <Ayan po. laughs> Ano prayer request na? Tapos ang prayer request na amin ano uh, ano prayer request natin? <laughs> Uh, pag-iingat po sa ating lahat. Lalo na po sa Friday, pagpunta po natin sa church, sana po marami po tayong wala, uh, wala pong magkasakit dahil malamig, sobrang malamig na po ngayon. Uh, ayun po. Amen. Thank you, Tito Josie. Excited na lahat sa Friday. Sa ating uh, Friday uh, Thanksgiving service. Apo, uh, opo. Opo. Thanksgiving sa Friday. Yeah, sana si Wala po magkakasakit ako. O, oh, bawal magkasakit. <laughs> bawal magkasakit para makaten tayo lahat, makapagpulit tayo. Eh, kailangan matikman natin yung litsong paksil na yan. Bravo, Pastor. Bravo, Pastor. Yeah. Eh, tsaka sana si Lodjo. Saka hamon, eh. magdadala tayo ng hamon. Hamon, yun. Apo. Ah, ano ba, honey bake ba yan? <laughs> Sila Jerel, sana po dito na, no? Ay, opo oh, uh, nga, sabi nga namin, eh. dito na kayo. Bale, <laughs> narating ng time na yan. Opo. Thank you po, Tita Josie. Si Kuya Noel, mayroon bang prayer request? And, uh, uh, copy paste, Pastor. Copy paste, ah. Copy and paste. More money. <laughs> Amen. Amen. Okay, thank you, Tita Josie. Good evening, uh, Tita Faith and Tita Pepo. Tita Janet, magandang gabi sa inyo. Ayan. Alison May, it's your turn. Good evening po. Good evening. For me naman po, thankful po ako dahil po meron po akong functional, loving, and supportive family. Nagpapasalamat po ako sa Diyos na bobo kami and nagsaserve po kami sa Diyos. And nagpapasalamat din po ako sa blessings ni Lord kasi ginagabayan niya po kami palagi, binabatayan niya po kami sa mga ginagawa namin pang araw-araw, desisyon at gawain. And yung mga biyaya po niyang inilalaan po sa mga pangangailangan po namin araw-araw. Nagpapasalamat din po ako kasi si Lord napaka-patient niya and napaka-forgiving niya. And thankful din po ako sa mga pagsubok na aking nalalagpasan at pagsubok din po na nalagpasan namin bilang isang pamilya. At na hindi po posible itong lahat kung hindi dahil po kay Lord. So, He is indeed our deliverer po. Yun po yung pinaka-thankful po ko probably this full year na po yun. And then, um, prayer request naman po is na 
nagpatuloy po kaming makapag-serve kay Lord na palagi po namin siya mag-glorify sa mga gagawin namin, isipin namin. And na prayer request din po is na maging mapagbuti po namin ni Anaya ang aming pag-aaral para din po maging sobrang proud naman din po sa amin ng parents namin and si Lord. Yan lang po. Thank you po. Amen. Ganda naman nun. Thank you, Alison May. Let's go now to... Uh, uh, good evening, Rachel and Jairus. Uh, let's go now to... Kuya Mani. Kuya Mani. Kuya Manuel. Hi, good evening po. Good evening po. Uh, yes. <laughs> Praise the Lord kahit medyo mas umuwi umuwi kami magkasawa na medyo masama ang pakiramdam ko kasi ano uh, hanggang 30th kasi ang trabaho ko doon eh mukhang binabagsakan ako ng maraming trabaho. Mm. <laughs> so anyway, uh, ah, mag-resign ka ko yan, lilipat ka sa iba? Oo, opo, lilipat po ako mm. pero yung near di, po dito mga 12 minutes po away. Mm, same company. Um, hindi po same company pero cover pa rin ng company kaya ah. madali lang yung transfer. Oh, that's good. That's good. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, kasi pag kanina ng umaga may crash na nangyari kaya ayun more than one hour kami sa kalsada. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. Oh, kaya nag-average kami ng 40 minutes away na papunta sa work kaya medyo malayo masyado kaya Yeah. Uh, we prayed for uh, isang job dito na mas malapit dito kaya meron na yeah. so after ng bakasyon ko uh, for this December uh, isasaluin ako ng isang kumpanya <laughs> yeah praise the Lord yan yeah. talaga yeah so pag pray pag pray na matapos din sana yung project ko sa Pilipinas pag uwi ko I'll be staying there for three weeks oh. eh sana matapos na yung project pagbalik para matapos ka agad <laughs> so, ang uh, prayer request ay um ay lang po ah, lalagay ko lang. Yeah, uh, importante healthy ako na andon para matupad di mga projects na pinapagawa ni Mrs. <laughs> <laughs> At saka smooth transition ano. Smooth Opo. transition sa new work. Alright. New work po. New work. Here yeah. Opo. Thank you, Kuya Mani. Yep. Uh, basahin natin ang ating phone in. <laughs> Good evening, everyone. Praise report. Vic K with Kuya and Liana. Able to serve the Lord with Kuya. Positive results of uh, meeting Yahoo! <laughs> sa, sa ating ano. Masa maganda. Magandang, uh, magandang ano to. Magandang... Uh, what they call this uh, balita. Pray request uh, successful Thanksgiving service and a workers appreciation day. Prayer that we will have more workers at church, not only in quantity, but quality din po. Amen. Thank you, Rachel and Dairus. Okay, let's go now to um, Giselle. Giselle, good evening, my favorite. Giselle, it's your turn. <laughs> Thank you, Pastor. <laughs> um, praise report ko po. Napasa ko po yung auditing exam ko po nung kahapon po. Thankful po ako sa prayer warriors ko po, a.k.a. Ate Kled and Ate Faith. <laughs> and um, grateful din po ako na nakapag-serve po kaming um, Ascaraga siblings all at once nung Sunday po. And Ang prayer request ko naman po maging successful po ang Thanksgiving service po natin this Friday and manalo po ako sa raffle this Sunday. Joke lang. <laughs> <laughs> ano kaya ang ano? Ano kaya ang uh, mga grand? Nakita ko yung mga prizes, magaganda eh, no? Uh, <laughs> natin <laughs> baka na lang baka si Jasmine na naman manalo na ito na ako naman Ila taon-taon na lang no? <laughs> alright so malamang um, proud na proud si mama at si papa nyo dahil uh, kayo ay uh, nag-serve ng Sunday kayong tatlo no? minsan lang mangyari yun eh. alright so 
Ako ay ako din po manalo sana sa raffle. Wag wag mo pabunutin si Rizel. Baka kami manalo ulit. <laughs> All right. Good evening po sa lahat. Uh, nasa work po si Tita LV makikinig po. Good evening Tita LV. Good evening, good evening. All right, all right, all right. Uh, good evening, Justin. And uh, let's uh, move on to, ito, sa mga madalas manalo ng raffle. Anastasios, it's your turn. Good evening po sa lahat. Um, praise report po is, um, magpapasalamat po kami kay God dahil sa, uh, sa pagising pa lang namin is, um, healthy kami and peaceful lahat and sa buong taon po na nangyari sa buhay namin na naging maayos po ang lahat and uh, sa church po is naging successful din po yung ating um, hindami po ng mga tao and uh, masaya po and talaga may guidance din po ng Holy Spirit so thank you po kay Lord na ginagabayan niya po tayong lahat hindi po siya nagkukulang sa atin. And um, praise report din po, nandiyan na Sister LB. <laughs> Amen. So, sabi mo ba? Ah, yeah, yeah. Ang ating tabing. <laughs> so, ma- ano na po, uh, mas marami na po kami ulit. At saka, uh, praise report po, si Adin po, binigyan na naman ng boss niya ng pang-gasolina. So, thank ano you, Lord. Ano ba yan? Sobrang <laughs> Thank you Lord <laughs> Talagang ano, mabait po talaga yung boss nila Mabless pa yung company po nila Amen. And uh, praise report I uh, praise uh, Prayer request po is uh, Itong buong, Itong um, Darating ng mga susunod na mga occasion po is Lahat po tayo healthy at safe po mm-hmm. Yun lang po yeah. Thank you Thank you sabi ni Rachel, baka daw mamigay ng Tesla yung boss mo. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, mayroon ba si Aldrin? Copy-paste din. Copy-paste daw po. Okay, Docs. Thank you, Anastasios. Let's go now to Tita Janet. Good evening sa'yo, Tita Janet. Magandang gabi po. Mm-hmm. Yeah, praise report po. Ano, um... Papasalamat po ako kay Lord dun sa spiritual growth ng aking panganay. Nung last Sunday, hindi po sila nakapag-church. Pero yung kanyang mga sa in-laws, yung kanyang sister-in-law, brother-in-law, mga relative, they were able to go to church kahit wala po sila. So I just thank God for their lives na nagagamit po para sa Panginoon. Salamat po, Pastor. Marami pong salamat. Wow, ganda naman noon. So, ano, sila yung uh, channel of blessings. Thank you, Tita Janet. Let's go now to Tita Faith and Tita Fefot. Good evening, Maranans. Good evening po. Good evening. Uh, ano ba? Praise report po. Ano po? Uh, I thank God na Nakapag-preach po ako nung Sunday. <laughs> Amen. Salamat sa iyo. Kabadong-kabado talaga ako, PJ. Kasi two, two, three days before that, harap na po talaga ako magsalita kasi nagtandem po yung cold sore tsaka canker sore sa akin. So, nagsabay po sila sa bibig ko. <laughs> Ayaw po. Ano, harap na po talaga akong kumain, magsalita, mag-toothbrush, masobrang sakit po. So, Uh, I thank God po sa kay Doc Jess, sa, sa, sa lahat po na nag-pray, ganyan. So, uh, ayun po, naka, nakapagsal. Nung, nung Sunday, Saturday night po, umigi na po siya eh. Tapos nung Sunday morning, parang yung pain po kasi from 9, parang 2, 3 days before, 9 po talaga yung pain, 9 over 10. Sunday morning po, mga 1 na lang po siya. Tapos after mga 0.5. <laughs> Basta parang significant po yung ano, yung pagtanggal po nung sakit. So yun, I thank God for that. Tapos ano din po, uh, safe. Safe po kami sa ano, 
Okay. Hindi, <laughs> safe po kami sa mga, at saka safe din po yung mga kapatid ko po sa sa Pilipinas. Ayun po. Ma, prayer request mo. Prayer request. Ikaw naman naman. Kita pa po. Uh, good evening. Uh, eh, papasalamat po ako kasi yung pasyente namin sa Pilipinas. <laughs> Ayun nga. Uh, guma, uh, pagaling na. Kasi po yung aso ni Hazel, mahal na mahal namin yun. Talaga yun ang aming baby. Nagka problema sa tenga. Noong una, namuo, hematoma ba yun? Namuo yun sa tenga. Inayos, in-inject ni, Tep, ni Hazel, pero bumalik na mag -auli. So, pinag-uusap kasi ang gagastusin namin 13,000 para sa ma-opera yung tenga niya. So, I think ka na-provide naman na yung 13,000 pinagtulungan namin tatlo. At ngayon, nagising na siya at ngayon eh, recovered na siya. <laughs> mahal na mahal namin yung asong yun. 13 years na sa amin. Sabi nga ni Pe, ano yun? Galing pa yun sa nanay ni Mary Ann sa Bulacan. Sinundo pa nila yun doon. Binigay ng tuta. So, yun ang pinagpipray ni Pe na sana daw abutan niya. <laughs> so, ate kayo niingatan yung mga aso namin kasi sila ang aming mga gwardiya. Yo, tsaka protection sa mga anak ko sa Philippines, kayo yun din sa amin dito. Yun lang po. Thank you. Amen. Buti naman, ligtas. Ang anong pangalan niya, Tita Pepot? Soledad Angela Ay, po. Soledad Angela po. Haba <laughs> nang, mabaka may birth certificate yan. Haba <laughs> nang pangalan <laughs> eh. Oo, oh, basta meron yun. Gawa ni Hazel. Ha? Ah, meron Tita talaga. <laughs> may mga birth certificate yun. <laughs> okay lang, pag nilambing mo, Soledad Angela. Pa, kano, paggalit ka? Soledad Angela. Pag, pag kinakausap namin, tumitingin siya, naririnig niya kami. Tsaka pag may umuwi, halimbawa umuwi ako ng Philippines, hindi mo malaman yung ikot niya. Yung talaga kita mong tuwan-tuwa siya. Pati ang buntot niya talaga. Kaya malaking bagay sa amin yung asong yun. Amen, amen. Okay, Pag hindi mo sa pinansin, Pastor, kakalabitin ka. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Thank you po. Salamat po. Alright, alright, alright. Good evening, uh, Tita Len Len. Magandang gabi sa iyo. Hi, good evening po. Alright. Uh, next would be uh, Justin. Good evening, Justin. Good evening, CJ. Good evening sa iyo. Justin, you're next. I, um my pray my praise report is um the my school semester is almost done um just a couple more weeks left and uh, uh prayer request uh good health and peace for our families thank you justine Uh, congratulations tapos na ang iyong uh, uh, mga school task. So, good evening, good evening, Tita Lenden. It's your turn. Meron ka bang praise report and prayer request? Oh, uh, ano po? Every day is thank you to God. God is good. Amen. Amen. Thank you, Tita Lenden. CJ, magandang gabi sa iyo. Uh, prayer request and uh, praise report. Okay, sorry, sorry. Uh, Nakamit pala ako. Salita ako ng salita. <laughs> okay, thank you, CJ. Uh, listening muna si CJ ngayon. Uh, good evening, Tita Fe. Uh, praise report and prayer request, Tita Fe. Um, praise report ko po. I, um, I thank the Lord kasi um, He covers us with the blood of Jesus. He, he provides what we need. He guides us. He makes us strong. He keeps us healthy. He answers our prayers. We thank Him. I really thank Him. And uh, uh, I, my prayer request is that we continue to pray that our church will be protected It will be covered by the blood of Jesus Christ, and nobody can harm it. Nobody can touch um, <clears throat> our church and and other churches as well, Christian churches. 
because this time is very critical. We have a lot of uh, people who are uh, dangerous to deal with. They display anger and hatred and they can do anything but to us, you know, who, who try to uh, be peaceful with everyone. So our prayers are very important to protect our church, our families, our loved ones. Yan ang request ko po. Thank you. Thank you, Tita Pepper. Ah, uh, Tita Pepper, sorry, Tita Fe. Uh, let's uh, proceed now, Tita Fe, sa ating uh, daily devotion. Okay. My, my topic tonight is Thanksgiving because this is Thanksgiving week and when is our Thanksgiving service? Tomorrow or Friday? Friday po, Tita. Uh, Friday, okay. So this is Thanksgiving week and so I have chosen the, the, the subject Thanksgiving. Uh, uh, shall we pray before we start? <clears throat> Heavenly Father, we praise you and thank you, O God, for this time together. We praise you for your presence because your presence means a lot to us. It's an in inspiration, an encouragement, O oh Lord. And it is something, O oh, oh God, that increases our faith to know that you are in our midst, O oh Lord, as we gather around to praise you, to thank you, and to learn of you. Lord God, may this uh, whatever we hear tonight from this exhortation or or sharing, dear God, be a part of us and help increase our faith in you, our love and our confidence, O oh God, in your faithfulness, your power and your love. In the name of Jesus Christ, bless every moment tonight. May we leave this place, O oh God, filled with the Spirit and knowing fully well that you are faithful and that we are loved and protected in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Thank you, Lord. Amen. So, the topic is Thanksgiving. The question is, how did Jesus express gratitude when he was on earth? He was always expressing gratitude. He would look up to heaven and say, give thanks to the Father in heaven. And so we have in the Bible, the time, at the time when he was feeding the, the 5,000, and the two fish and the five loaves of bread were there given to him. He uh, asked the, the people to sit down and he looked up to heaven to give thanks to the Father before feeding them. He also broke bread for the Last Supper and he gave thanks to God. Also, when he appeared to the disciples and they fed him, he looked up to God and give, gave thanks before he partook, partook of the food. And any time he touched food in the Bible, we always find him that he would always give thanks, look up to heaven and give thanks to the Father. Um, gratitude is the ability to show thanks for the things we are grateful for. And gratitude is something that is important to God. We have David in Psalm 103 verse 2 wherein he cautioned his soul not to be thankless. He spoke to his soul and he said, Praise the Lord, my soul, and forget not all his benefits. Because he knew that being thankful is so important and is, in fact, a key to prosperity. Another point is that gratitude is a command for the individual and for the church as a whole. So I have here two scriptures that uh, pertain to the individual 
And it could also be used for the whole congregation or the church people. And this is in Colossians 3, uh, verse 17. And whatsoever you do in word or deed, do everything in the name of the Lord Jesus. Give thanks to God the Father through him. So here we have do everything in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Let's bear in mind this uh, statement, do everything, because we will have something uh, using that, that statement uh, at the later part of this sharing. Then another scripture is found in 1 Thessalonians chapter 5, 16 to 18. 16, verse 16 says, Rejoice always. Um, joy is the simplest form of gratitude. Kaya kung we, we are, let's say we come to a friend and he has done something good for us, let's say, we come to him and we give him a smile or her a smile and and we express our gratitude to that person there's joy in the heart to know that something good we have received you know so again i say joy is the simplest form of gratitude so when we express gratitude there is joy in that right and this scripture tells us to be rejoicing or to be joyful full always always in the verse in verse 17 it's it says pray continually without ceasing and verse 18 18 give thanks in all circumstances again here we have the prepositional phrase in all circumstances for this is god's will for you in christ jesus now that is for the individual um, and we have here giving thanks to the lord as a corporate as a, a group as an assembly in the church so we have some uh some 100 verse 4 it says here enter into uh, enter his gates with thanksgiving and his courts with praise give thanks to him and praise his name let's recall you know the um, what do you call that the uh, tabernacle we enter the gate and this verse says give thanks then we come to the courts where uh, where we have the the bowl to wash the feet the hands and so on and uh, it says uh, to praise him give thanks to him praise him and be grateful to him another verse along that uh, uh, with the idea of uh, giving thanks as a whole as a corporate as a group as a church you know is found in Colossians 3.15. Let the peace of Christ rule in your hearts, since as members of one body you were called to peace. One body refers to the congregation, to the whole body, uh, to everybody in the church, collectively, um, corporately. You were called to peace. And be thankful. And that's the reason why all Christian churches hold services on Thanksgiving Day. And we have this celebration every every year. However, it doesn't mean that we are thankful to God only once a year. Of course, it's understood because we learn it from the Bible. We have to be thankful every day because it's in everything we do. Okay, um, First Thessalonians, uh, uh, in First Thessalonians, uh, what, what is this? Corporately. The, the next 
Now we talk about the benefits of being thankful. Did Have we read uh, this one? Let me read again this verse. Let the peace of Christ rule in your hearts. Since as members of one body, you were called to peace and be thankful. It's a good verse. It's good to memorize it and have a, a, and really live it because it's a wonderful verse. God, we, this is like honoring God and pleasing him in everything he does for us. We come to the benefits of being thankful. Um, one, it helps us to focus on the present moment and appreciate the good things in life even in difficult times. So ito, <laughs> maalaala din natin yung mga things nangyari noon, kahit na bad times. There are so many things, maybe, maybe most of us had experienced bad times, you know, in the past. Ako, I have experienced it and I will never forget it. Second World War II, marami akong maalaala doon that I have, I always thank the Lord. So kahit na in difficult times, there are things that we always, we have to remember in thanking the Lord at all times, whatever he does, whatever we know God has done for us, it is just fitting and proper that we give him our thanksgiving. Uh, Thanksgiving also invites God's presence. Our and then as our spirits as well are refreshed and re renewed in Him, and then we find out also that the gifts when we thank the Lord, especially during our devotion you know, our personal devotion, when we thank the Lord, or anywhere we are, like uh, in the kitchen, in the bathroom, in the market, school, or whatever, you know, on the streets or in the car driving, when we, when we praise the Lord and thank Him, we feel that refreshing and renewing of our spirit, and we feel the joy inside us. Another thing to note is that Thanksgiving is a command with a promise. And I would like to, to quote what I have. And he who receiveth all things with thankfulness shall be made glorious, and the things of this earth shall be added unto him, even an hundredfold, yea, more. Another reason or another benefit from being thankful to the Lord is that is the is the fact that God loves gratitude and he delights in our thankfulness. And so in that delight, he pours out his spirit and favor over us. So you see, in this case, it builds our confidence in the Lord that no matter what time we are, what season we are in, whether we are in danger or what, we know fully well that God is on our side because being thankful to him, he is faithful and his faithfulness becomes our heads of protection at all times. Thankfulness helps us, helps us to see that God's hand, hand is all over our circumstances, good or bad, you know, sad or whatever, you know, we know that God is with us because we have looked up to him. And God said that if we are obedient to him, we love him, we thank him, we come to him in prayer that he will pour his favors on us. Another, it brings us supernatural peace because of the confidence, the trust, the hope, that thankfulness develops as we um, go along in life every day. Now, that is 
from the word of God. And this one is also coming from the world of science. What thankfulness or gratitude can do for us. Now, there are uh, studies that have shown that feeling thankful can improve our sleep. It gives us good mood and it gives us as well immunity from sickness. There has been a review of of the of 70 studies that include responses from 26,000 people who who showed that which showed that higher levels of gratitude result in lower levels of depression so ito the more we are grateful to god you know the lower or the lesser we are we get sick Talking about depression, the lower our levels of depression. And then, mawawala din yon Because we continue to be grateful to God. Science has found out that gratitude can decrease depression, anxiety, difficulties with chronic pain, and risk of disease. Biro nyo yan, ano? It lessens anxiety, it supports heart health, it relieves stress, it improves health. Ganda, di ba? Okay, so ganon lang yon. Too much about it now because alam natin that really thanksgiving or being gratitude is part of a Christian life. Meron akong mga questions. For us to answer, um, how do you give thanks, being thankful, or how do you give thanks in all circumstances is the question. And I would like to uh, give a setting. One, a kid has hit by a car. How do you give thanks for that? Number two, um, there's a troublemaker in our church who is intolerable. Again, <laughs> how do you give thanks in all circumstances is the question. And I have given a setting here, a case, Number one, a, ki a kid was hit by a car. Number two, a troublemaker is in church, in our church, let's say, or in, a in somebody's church, and he or she is intolerable. Okay, thank you. Alrighty. Thank you, Tita Pepot. Bakit ba Tita Pepot? <laughs> Tita Pepot. Thank you, Tita Fe. <laughs> Good evening muna kay Brother Dave. Good evening sa'yo. At um, ang tanong ni Tita Fe, how do you give thanks in all circumstances? No? Una, for situation, a kid hit by a car. Second situation, uh, ano po yung second situation, Tita Fe? A troublemaker. Trouble. And as a church, at saka, intolerable na siya, sobrang sobra. Church. How do we, how do we give thanks to God since God said that we have be thankful in all circumstances? All right. Sige po. Uh, let's start with uh, uh, Tita Josie. Good evening uli sa'yo. Ayan po ang uh, unang uh, mag-share sa, sa... Hello po. Let me po sagutin yung question for discussion. How do you give thanks in all circumstances? How about mm -hmm. you buy a car? Or, or, or any any circumstances na, na dinaanan nyo, nakita nyo, or anything. Uh, mm -hmm. 
Eh, sa akin po kasi, eh, sabi nga po, kahit anong kalagayan natin ay um, dapat tayong magpuri sa ating Panginoon. Ano man pong uh, sitwasyon natin. Mas, kasi po, ano eh, ma... yung pagpapasalamat eh, ano, pagka yung okay ang lahat, di po ba? Masarap mag, magpasalamat. Masarap magpuri, masarap magpasalamat pag okay ang lahat. Sabi po, eh kung papano, kung kaganyan nga may mga problema. Eh, eh mahirap mag, uh, mag, magpasalamat, sabi nga, ano, kung may mga problema. Pero sabi ng ating Panginoon, in every circumstances, 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 eh, magpasalamat tayo sa kanya kasi kahit na anuman yung dinadaanan nating mahirap nandiyan po siya hindi niya tayo pababayaan hindi niya tayo iiwan kahit anuman pong mga pagsubok yung dinadaanan natin hindi tayo bibigyan ng mga pagsubok kung hindi natin ito kakayanin nandiyan ang ating Panginoon para tayo ay tulungan kaya kahit anuman po yung pinagdaraanan nating mahirap na sitwasyon eh makakaya po natin yun sa biyaya ng ating Panginoon. Sabi nga po doon sa awit 92, ang magpasalamat kay awe ay mabuting bagay. Umaawit na lagi, purihin ang ngalang katas sa asan. Ang pag-ibig niyang wagas ay ating ihayag kung bukang lewayway at ang patapatan niya ihayag din naman pagsabit ng gabi. Kahit ano man po sitwasyon, makakapagpuri tayo dahil hindi niya tayo iiwan, hindi niya tayo pababayaan. Yun lang po. Amen. Ganda naman yan. Para akong nakikinig sa DCAS ngayon. <laughs> <laughs> kasi, kasi <laughs> yung, yung Tagalog na Tagalog na ano, ito kayo yung kanina. Hindi po ba? Opo, kanina yung kay <laughs> eh, yung sharing ni Tita Fe para nakikinig ako sa DCAS eh. So, ayun. <laughs> yun po yung mga awit ng pasasalamat po kasi na, nakabisa ko na kasi ako praise and worship kailangan mag-share po tayo ng pasasalamat bago po tayo mag praise and worship sa Amen ano po? Salamat po. Po. Ano po Sana nag-join ka Tita Josie sa ano, mga anak mo nung Sunday <laughs> <laughs> Sabi nga po ni Pete eh, Tita Josie ba't di ka nag-back up? <laughs> Alright, eh. <laughs> so thank you, Tita Josie. Um, let's go now to uh, Jasmine and Aldrin. Good evening, Anastasios. Good evening, po, Pastor. Good evening. Um, sa, sa akin po, Pastor, di na po ako lalayo. Ako na po mismo yung natamaan ng coach. <laughs> I was the one who got hit by a car. So, joining that circumstance when I got hit by a car nung nabali po yung kamay ko, um, there were times when I did question why me. I asked God, bakit po ako, Lord? But, I, I trusted in God and um, I think the Lord na lang po dahil buhay pa ako kasi Anaya was still young and one year old pa lang si Anaya po nung nangyari yun. I was still grateful kay Lord na, Lord, thank you, Lord, God, na buhay pa ako. And I still get to have the chance to see my kids grow, na someday to walk Allison in the aisle, pati si Anaya, to see them uh, succeed sa, sa school or sa career. So I was really grateful na makasama pa si Jasmine ng matagal. Right. So, uh... <laughs> Kaya... Uh, yun na lang po yung pinasasalamat ko during ano during those times na nanghihintay ko yung ano kung maging successful ba yung surgery ko or not. So I just prayed to the Lord na thank you Lord that um, you are giving me the second chance na sana po maging successful po yung ano yung surgery and with the grace of God naging successful naman po yung surgery and I prayed na uh, ano God would use me again sa ministry and I praise the Lord for ano for the feelness na hindi lang po ako yung ginamit ni Lord, pati po yung buong pamilya namin na ginagamit po niya sa ministry. So, yun po. Amen. And uh, we're thankful sa inyong pamilya. Right. Thank you. Uh, Sister Jasmine, meron ba? Or copy-paste? 
Sabi face na po. <laughs> oh, eh, siyempre, kota ka na. Sabi, eh, nagpapasalamat at gusto ko pang makasama ng matagal. Akalain mo yan, ah. <laughs> Haba ng hair mo, ah. So, <laughs> Okay, salamat sa inyo, Anastasia. We are so thankful and uh, grateful na kayo ay uh, mga workers sa ating uh, ministry. Thank you, thank you. All right, let's go na sa aking favorite, Giselle, your turn. Hello po. <laughs> um, I mean nga po na sabi ni Lola Fe, he, he delights in our... um. thankfulness and it builds our confidence with the Lord. Sabi po nung iba, or inaasum po nung iba na, um, when we accept Jesus, puro magagandang bagay na lang dadating, which is not the case. Because when we accept Jesus, nagkakaroon tayo ng grateful heart despite nga sa season ng life natin, kahit sobrang hirap na mga pinagdadaanan. We look at the bright side always and we look at it as a blessing. So yun po, no, sa second setting po na binigay po ni Lola Fe, I think it's also a blessing kasi dinala yung tao na yun for our church to handle, na pinagkatiwalaan tayo ni Lord for us to help that person na magbago. So, we should be also be grateful for such people po. Yun lang po. Amen. Thank you. Yun nga, no? An opportunity to be a blessing. Right? So, uh, kahit sino pa yan, uh, tatanggapin natin at uh, uh, pag uh, idudulog natin sa Panginoon. ba? Diba? So, tayo rin naman, eh, ano, eh, hindi rin naman perfecto. Inayos din tayo ng Diyos. At saka ang church natin ay hospital para sa mga may sakit. Kaya, dapat eh, alagaan sila. Pero syempre, kapag ka naman hindi maganda yung ginagawa, eh, meron naman tayong ano, uh, karapatan din na uh, proteksyonan ang mga iba pa nating kasama. ba? Diba? Pero generally, we embrace everyone. as uh, Jesus did no kung mga na na namatay si Kristo para sa ating lahat. Thank you Jesel, napakaganda nan. Okay, uh Tita Faith, Tita Fafot. Good evening. It's your turn. Ah, uh, no good evening po. Ayun po, uh agree naman, agree po ako dun sa be thankful in all circumstances. Yung naisip ko lang po yung kunyari sa second scenario po. Yung of course mahirap initially pag pag alam mo yun, may dif- difficulty or parang ang hirap makirelate ganyan pero ah uh, i think we can still be thankful kasi gagamitin ni Lord yung circumstances to ano to build our character like naalala ko halimbawa pag nagpray ka kay God na Lord Tulungan mo naman ako maging patient. Ganyan, mas maging patient, mas maging loving, mas maging gentle, kind. So magdadala si God ng mga tao na nagagamitin niya para matuto kang maging patient. <laughs> e magiging patient ka naman talaga pag may opportunity talaga na mag-exercise ka ng patience. Eh. So, para matuto kang mag-persevere pag may difficulty. So, I think from that perspective, Ayun, now we can be thankful in that situation kasi ano, gagamitin siya ni Lord talaga to build our character so that we would be more like Christ. Ganyan. So so basically parang both in all yun nga, in all circumstances whether it it seems favorable or unfavorable, meron pa rin talagang ipagpapasalamat kasi alam natin na may purpose si Lord sa lahat ng ginagawa niya at inaalaw niya sa buhay natin. So, ganun po, Pastor Yes. Ma? Thank you. Tita Pepot? Ako. Oh. Nag-open the page. Ako. Uh, ako po, Pastor, siguro yung pinakamabigat na circumstance na naranasan ko. Yung time, Pastor, na nadaying na si Brother Ben uh, two days before Madaling araw, kumakanta siya, umiiyak siya, mga alas tres yata. Sabi ko, ba't kaya ito umiiyak ka niya? Hindi ko alam na dying na pala siya noon, ganyan, two days before. Tapos kinabukasan, sabi ko, narinig kita kanina, umiiyak ka, kumakanta ka. Ano yung kinakanta mo? Parati niya kinakanta yung in the garden. Tapos sabi niya, wala, inihabilin ko na kayo kay Lord. Nung sinabi niya, yung kinabahan ako. Tapos nga, nung time na ooperahan na siya sa angioplasty, 
uh, nandoon kami ni Teptep sa St. Vincent Hospital, mga kasi 2 o'clock yung kanyang operation, yung surgery niya. Uh, 4 o'clock, nagising pa siya. Sabi, nag nagising pa siya, nandoon kami ni Stephen. Kaya sabi ko, o oh, sige, magpahinga ka na, nasa ICU. Magpahinga ka na, uh, bukas babalikan ka namin. Sabi ko ganyan, di umuwi kami ni Stephen, di na kami bumalik. Tapos yung palang 9.30 ng gabi na yun, tumawag na sa akin yung doktor na... Eh nga, nagdadeliryo na siya, ganyan. Hindi naman namin alam. Siguro, I thank God din doon, Pastor, kasi hindi inalaw ni Lord na makita namin ni Stephen yung moment na naghihingalo siya, na he is dying na. Kasi I know in my heart na hindi makakayanan ni Stephen yung kasi masyadong close si Stephen sa papa niya. So, I thank God, hindi inalaw ni Lord na makita namin yun. Kasi kung hindi, mahihirapan akong how to handle si Stephen. Tapos uh, dumating yung point na wala nang wala naman akong hawak na pera, ganyan. E eh, kailangan siyang mapapakremate, matanggalin na sa hospital. Yun, tapos kinahutap ako ni Pastor Don Diti. Tapos may pera ka ba? Wala, Pastor. Sige, pahihiramin ka ng church. So, tapos hindi ko alam. Tuliru din ako kasi saan ako pupunta? Anong gagawin ko? Wala ko idea. Tinulungan ako ng pamangkit ko si Gina, yung asawa ni Dutch. Tsaka si Pastor Bert, sila LV, sila ang tumulong sa amin. Naghanap kami ng cremation, ganyan. So I thank God, uh, yung sitwasyon na yun na tuliriw ako na hindi ko alam. Maraming pinadala si Lord ng mga tao para maayos lahat. Tapos pati si Pastor Manny, Pastor Hans, si Sister Hansel, pinagamit yung Wiley Chapel kahit hindi pa ako member ng church. Yun. So I thank God for that. Those, yun yung pinaka mabigat na sitwasyon na naranasan ko na Kumilos si Lord sa buhay namin kahit hirap na hirap kami. Hindi ko alam ang gagawin ko. Wala akong resources. Wala akong, wala akong alam. Pero yung mga tao lumapit sa akin, tinulungan kami lahat yun. So si Lord talaga ang kumilos. Siya ang gagawa ng paraan sa sitwasyon na talagang hindi na natin hawak ang sitwasyon. Yun lang po. Amen. Yun ang maganda sa merong community of faith. Kumbaga, people, uh, if you are surrounded by people with the same yeah. eh, uh-huh. yung tinut- nagtutulungan ano, simba nagtutulungan okay. well, thank you Tita Mepot alright Justin good evening Justin okay habang nag-ready si Justin uh, uh, basahin ko lang itong uh, uh, phone in dito <laughs> take away Uh, from Rachel and Jairus, we really need to give thanks uh, through highs and lows dahil God knows kung ano po yung makaka- makakaya natin. Hindi niya po tayo bibigyan ng hindi natin makakaya for the, ca- uh, for the case scenario po. For example, yung mga naka- nakukunan sa mga mommies, sometimes po hindi na sa kanila binigay yung baby. Baka po kasi may abnormalities pa po yung baby pag pinanganak mas mahirap po yun kaya po every circumstance circumstance good or bad is a blessing okay thank you Rachel and Jairus go ahead Justin your turn oh uh, can I see the questions Thank you. Um, uh, to to answer the the part about uh, the kid getting hit by a car or a troublemaker in church, I think uh, we should still be thankful in those situations because. Um, It can be an opportunity for growth, whether uh, it's our growth or or someone else's. It can also be um, God can also use that so that His name would be glorified. There could be a God could work a miracle in those uh, circumstances, and also to give thanks in all circumstances. I think it also helps to remember that we are not owed God's grace. We are not owed blessings. 
it says in um, Ephesians uh, chapter 2, verse 8, for, for by grace you have been saved through faith. And this is not your own doing. It is the gift of God. If God gave us what we deserved, we would be burning in hell. And it says in Psalm 51, when David sinned against the Lord, you are right in your verdict and justified when you judge. So all of these blessings that we receive from God, his, um, his mercy and his grace, we don't deserve it. So all the more that we should be thankful to him because God is good. And uh, one way we can show gratitude is obedience to God's commands because since he redeemed his life, we ought to live our lives for him by walking along the paths of righteousness and, and not partaking in our old ways. That's all. Thank you, Justine. All right. Um, your turn. Uh, Amen. Be just. Okay, good evening, uh, Sister Len Len. Kayo po, ano pong, uh, Hi, Sister Len Len. 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 Sister Len Sister Len Can you hear me? Can you hear me? Hello. Okay. Um, give thanks in all circumstances. Every day, marami yan sa atin. Pagkagising na lang eh. Hanggang sa pagbalik mo sa tulog. So, ang nagiging ano ko doon, kung meron ako na halip, for example, may nakita ko yung kid na hit ng car. Kasi usually, ang reaction ko, mag-pray. I pray for everything. I pray for, minsan, katabi mo lang sa bus, may namuang problema. Pinapag-pray ko na siya, pero hindi ko sinasabi, pinapag-pray ko siya. So, I keep always, uh, siguro, mapapansin ko, I keep always talking to God. Nakakasi, nakaka, ano yun eh, uh, hindi ka na, na nakaka-stress yun, or nakakangatog ng, ano, ng, ng mga, pag nakikita mo yung mga nakakatapat na yun, mga, ano ka eh, maapektuhan ka. So, you always, pray. So, ang mga iisip ko, ba't ako pinakitaan ni Lord ng ganito? Bakit nilagay niya ako sa sitwasyon na makikita ko yun? That means, He needs, she, he needs you to pray for that circumstances sa Kanya. So, you get, you get energy from Him, not to all those circumstances. Now, for those people na talagang into, uh, hindi mo matolerate, you pray also for Kasi ang nakikita mo doon yung devil na eh. Sa mga ganun tao na intolerable. Devil yun. Works of a devil. So, knowing na gawa ng devil yun, you still pray for your protection. So, giving pray, uh, praying for God is means talking to God. Talking to God means you ask for wisdom, you ask for blessing, and you ask for protection. So, it's the same na you also the same to say na you're thanking him for protecting you. Thanking him that you are still alive. You're not affected, but you are just watching those events. Can you? Okay, amen. So, uh, magpapasalamat tayo sa Panginoon dahil uh, pinoproteksyonan tayo doon sa tao na hindi magandang, pwedeng, pwedeng hindi magandang gawin sa atin. At uh, okay. pinapanalangin din natin siya na baga, ay, ayusin siya ng Panginoon. Amen. Thank you, Sister Len Len. Good evening, Brother Dave. It's your turn. Brother Dave, good evening. Pwede ka pa, Brother Dave, o nasa work? Ay, hindi. Nasa bahay, nagtutupi ng mga nilabahan. Yun. <laughs> <laughs> Tag, no, ano, actually, um... na ka pala. Tag, <laughs> mag, maglaba ka na dyan. <laughs> Ganay dyan. <laughs> dyan. Go ahead, go ahead. Good evening po sa lahat. Um... Actually, gusto ko lang kung i-copy-paste yung kay uh, Sister Faith at kay Justin. Kasi 
with every event, whether we see it as favorable or not, there's always an opportunity to glorify God. Because just like Brother Aldrin, my wife and I, when we were kids, although hindi pa kami magkakilala, we both got hit um, by a vehicle. And then we're still alive. And so that's really something to be thankful for. And having these kids that we have right now, um, serving God, serving the Lord, isang patotoo na buhay siya. Na mahalay ba naman natin kung um, nung natamaan ako ng sasakyan before, tumalsik ako sa bike, kung mababarog yung ulo ko. But then, I didn't see it as you know, uh, what do you call this? A disadvantage in my life. Because I was, uh, I was walking unscathed after. Hold on, malakas yung tama sa akin, and I was too young to even, you know, thank God for that. Because I think I was in grade school, but then realizing as I was growing up, na. Uh, Hindi pala naman pala kami pinababayaan ng Diyos. So, yung, yung mga events, whether they're good or bad, um, like I mentioned, like, you know, a lot of our brothers and sisters have mentioned na, you know, there's always an opportunity to, to glorify God. And uh, we may not see it as positive. Kumisan, when we react towards our human nature na magagalit tayo sa nakabangga, maawa tayo sa nabangga, or mabibwisi tayo dun sa nanggugulo sa church. But then, you know, it's up to us how we, you know, approach God na sabihin natin, Lord, without you, I can't do anything. You know, I can't handle this on my own. You know, with with my own emotions, with my own um, capacity. So, kaya na hong bahala. And um, yeah, we we always feel pain because dito pa naman tayo sa lupa. Eh. We always feel angered. And kagaya ng sinabi ni Sister Faith, na you know, if we want to have the you know the Lord to manifest in our lives. We have to really submit. So yung, if we want to be patient, kailangan tayo masubukan. If we want to be loving, kailangan ho tayo masubukan. So yun lang ho. Thank you, Brother Dean. Okay, let's go now to the Dangawins. Good evening. Good evening, Ate Janet. Magandang gabi po. <clears throat> Giving thanks indeed in the midst of a very difficult or very challenging moment it would really make a lot difference so yung pong nung time na yung anak ko yung panganay yung asawa siya yung, uh, she was gotten pregnant out of kung kakawala sa panahon pero amidst of that we just Lord we just lift this up to you bahala ka na pang and yung, yung, yung there is power in when we give thanks in him kasi it's God who orchestrate Seasons, events, and circumstances, I believe. Kaya ngayon, I, I, I was, I'm so blessed na yung kanyang husband is first, first generation Christian dun sa family. And uh, I could, I could see now that God is, kumbaga, is using her, using them to be a light and salt where, wherever they are right now. Kaya yung sa akin lang po, ilight dun sa cancer. Just thanking God for the cancer kasi... Siguro kung wala ka akong cancer, inuwi na po ako ng asawa ko. Sabi niya, kung wala ka lang cancer, inuwi na kita sa Pilipinas. Kasi mm-hmm. it's very challenging for him na mag-adjust dito. Pero yun nga po, in all circumstances, in all things, God is working behind the scene. And for that, I give thanks and glory to the Lord. Yun lamang po. Thank you. Amen. Thank you. Kuya Manny, meron ka bang inadagdag? Copy paste or? Paste! Copy paste. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Kuya Manny. Alison May, last but not the least. 
Good evening po ulit. Mm -hmm. um, for me naman po is um, either galing man po sa aksidente yan or any case scenario po, it's better to be thankful po for our own lives and for other people's lives. And it's a miracle din po na to be given another chance by the Lord. And every day naman po, binibigyan tayo ng palagi ng chance ni Lord dahil tayo po ay makasalanan na tao and every day we sin. But every day din po, palagi niya po tayong pinapatawad at binibiyayaan pa rin niya tayo. And um, uh, naniniwala po ako na mapas... Yun nga po, I think na... na discuss din po natin ito at narinig po natin ito sa preaching din ni Pastor Jeff na mapasamaman o maganda ang ugali ng tao ay ginagamit pa rin ng Panginoon para yung will niya is will be done. And then naniniwala din po ako na hanggat may buhay, may pag-asa na pag-asa magsilbi sa Panginoon hanggat makaya pag-asa magbago pag-asang makabawi and to fulfill our purpose na mailahad ang magandang balita. So everything that happens to sa akin buhay at sa mga buhay ng mga tao it is a testimony to be told to glorify the the Lord. Yan po ang potential. Thank you po. Amen. Thank you, Alison. So uh, let's go now to our prayer. Ay po ay uh, manadangin. Magandang gabi po, Panginoon. Maraming salamat po sa gabi na to. Maraming salamat po sa kapangyarihan ng panalangin. Tinataas po namin ang pangalan nyo. Kayo po nawa, Panginoon, na magpala sa amin. Bigyan niyo po kami ng wisdom palagi. Proteksyonan niyo po kami palagi. Ay nahayag namin, Panginoon, kung meron man kami nagawa na sabi o naisip na hindi maganda at kasalanan, Panginoon, sa inyong standard. Talangin namin, Panginoon, na patawarin nyo kami. Humingi kami na kapatawaran. Tapos puso po kami nag-aas ng forgiveness and we repent of our sins, Panginoon. Uh, patuloy po ang pagpasalamat sa puso namin. Ngayon po Thanksgiving, ang una-una po namin na ay sanang pasalamatan ay yung salvation na binigay niyo sa amin. Magkaroon kami ng magandang relasyon sa inyo at uh, ang uh, resulta ay ang um, pagkakaroon ng magandang buhay, Panginoon, na hindi namin deserve pero binigay nyo para sa amin. Panginoon, sa mga sumusunod, dalangin namin na kayo po ang magpala sa aming panalangin. Tingin nyo nawa, Panginoon, ang aming uh, mga sasambitin. Kayo na, Panginoon, ang mabahala, Panginoon, uh, sa aming mga uh, hihilingin, Panginoon. Una-una, dinadalangin namin uh, as we continue to pray for Israel, Panginoon, dalangin namin ang matapos ang gera. Panginoon, uh, magkaroon, Panginoon, ang kapayapaan sa area na yun. Uh, sa lahat ng biktima, Panginoon, kamag-anak ng biktima, dalangin namin ang kapayapaan sa puso nila. Ngayon din, Panginoon, we pray for Hamas, Panginoon, na makakilala sila sa inyo. Uh, dalangin namin itigil nila, Panginoon, yung uh, terrorism, Panginoon. We also pray for... Um, Uh, mga Palestinians, Panginoon, na uh, sila'y makakilala sa inyo. Dalangin namin na lahat na naging victim ng Panginoon ng war, kayo po ang uh, mag, uh, mag uh, i-reveal niyo po, yung sarili niyo po sa kanila, Panginoon. Dalangin namin na matapos ang gera, Panginoon, at makabalik sila, Panginoon, sa normal na buhay. Panginoon, sa mga attendees namin, dinataas namin, Panginoon, ng number 81 to 97, ang mga Mendes, Panginoon. We pray for Ava, for Brandon, for uh, Shirley, for Chris, uh, talangin ng Panginoon na uh, uh, kayo po magpahala, Panginoon, sa kanilang pamilya, Panginoon. Ingatan niyo po yung mga bata, si Brandon, pag nagbabasketball, Panginoon. Uh, ingatan niyo po siya, huwag po siya mapasama sa hindi magandang uh, influence sa Panginoon. Talangin namin ang uh, provision niyo sa kanilang pamilya, Panginoon. At patuloy na paglago, Panginoon, sa spiritual nilang buhay. We pray for the Meneses, Panginoon, si Brother Cyrus, si Sir Minda. Talangin namin, Panginoon, na uh, ay rin po ang patuloy na magpala sa kanila. Patuloy po silang gamitin sa aming simbahan din ang isa sa mga aming mga primary workers. To also pray for Shane, Panginoon, na nasa Pilipinas. Ingatan niyo po siya doon. Kailangan na yung Panginoon na ikaw po ang magpala sa kanya. Ibigay niyo po yung desire ng heart niya na matapos po, Panginoon, yung kanyang problema sa sa custody, Panginoon. Shady, Panginoon, dalangin namin na maayos, Panginoon, na kanilang mga problema. 
Uh, ganyan din Panginoon tinataas namin siya si Almira at saka si, uh, si Ava, Panginoon. Pagpalaan niyo rin po sila at ingatan niyo po sila habang wala po si Shane. We pray Lord God for John Noel uh, sa kanyang asawa, Panginoon, at sa kanyang anak uh, na way, Panginoon, na, na makalakad na Panginoon ng kanyang anak, Panginoon. Uh, dalangin namin, uh, pinagpala kami sa kanyang uh, humility, Panginoon, sa kanyang puso, uh, sa kanyang uh, servant heart, Panginoon, lalo na sa paglilinis niya tuwing uh, Sabado sa kids room, uh, so, uh, blessing po siya sa amin. Pag, in return, Panginoon, yung pag-bless niya sa simbahan, dalangin namin na i-bless rin siya, Panginoon, sa mga desire ng puso niya. We pray, O Lord God, sa mga obligasyon kay Dennis, uh, kay Mao, kay uh, Sophia, Panginoon, patuloy niyo po silang pag-alabin, pag-initin, Panginoon, sa kanilang uh, patuloy na paglago, Panginoon, sa kanilang spiritual na buhay. Dalangin namin ang provision din, Panginoon, sa kanilang pamilya. At tayo nga tayo po sila sa pang-araw-araw, Panginoon. I pray, Lord God, sa mga pagyo, uh, blessing po sila sa amin, Panginoon, si Sir Elvi, uh, si Pastor Bert, Panginoon, kanilang din po pa kanon, ang kanilang mga anak, Panginoon, si James, at saka si Wedge, Panginoon, at ang kanilang mga asawa, Lord God. Ano, we pray, Lord, na uh, kayo po, Panginoon, ang patuloy na mag-ingat kay Pastor Bert na nandun po siya sa sa Pilipinas, Panginoon, at simply makabalik siya. Salamat, Panginoon, at nakabalik si Sister Elby ng uh, ma- ma- maayos, Panginoon. At uh, we pray, Lord God, na uh, ingatan niyo po sila, bigyan po sila ng kalakasan sa kanilang katawan, Panginoon. Uh, dalangin namin na patuloy po silang gamitin na pagpapala sa aming simbahan. Panginoon, tinataas namin si Alvin at saka si uh, uh, Amy Plan, Panginoon. Si Sister Alvin, uh, Sister Amy, Brother Alvin, na meron pong ubo at sipon ngayon. Uh, dalangin namin na kayo po, Panginoon, ang uh, mag-ingat sa kanila at uh, magpagaling po sa kanila sa gabi na ito, Panginoon. Uh, Panginoon, uh, tinataas sa amin, Panginoon, si, uh, si uh, mga Raimundo, Panginoon. Uh, we, we pray, Lord God, na, na uh, kayo po ang patuloy na na mag, mag magingat Panginoon sa kanila lalo lalo na Panginoon ang kanilang ina Panginoon dalangin namin ang reunion sa kanilang pamilya Panginoon salamat sa lahat ng mga pagpapala na na magkapatid na to Panginoon simbahan na palagi po silang uh, nandoon at saka po uh, maasahan Panginoon na pagpalain niyo po sa kan- sila Panginoon in return Panginoon at uh, uh, we, we pray Lord God na sa lahat ng mga members na aming na Nabanggit kayo po ang mag-ingat sa kanila, magpala Panginoon at uh, patuloy niyo po silang uh, uh, alagaan at palaguin sa kanilang spiritual na buhay, Panginoon. We uh, pray all this in Jesus' name. Amen. Lord God, we pray for the Church of the Nazarene. Uh, we pray for unity in LA Campus, Panginoon, for the English, uh, Korean, South, North, Spanish, and Filipino churches. Uh, Arison, can you lead us? Uh, praying for the Church of the Nazarene. Thank you. Lord, salamat po sa gabing ito. Salamat po because you have given us the guidance that we need every day. Lord, we pray for the Church of the Nazarene, sa GS General Superintendent. Uh, we pray for Busik, Crocker, Chambo, Sunberg, Daniels, Sarmiento, and we also pray for the district superintendent, Mark Lehman, sa local church board, si Pastor Jeff, Pastor Bong, Sister Tita Gurley, Ata Rachel, Tita LV, and sa La Filnas pastoral staff, PJ, PN, PB, PR, PQ. We pray, Lord God, na palagi niyo po silang bigyan ng wisdom and always keep them sensitive po sa Holy Spirit and sa Holy Ghost niyo, Lord God. Always speak to them in their hearts, Lord God. Kayo pong mas nakakalala po sa kanila and the desires of their heart, Lord God. Um, I pray, Lord God, na lahat ng mga gusto niyo pong mangyari or ipatupad, Lord Jesus, na you help them, Lord God, na ikilos yung mga desires niyo po, Lord God, na makita at mangyari, Lord God. We also pray for Lafil, ay, for the English um, congregation, um, Pastor Joshua, Michael Mata, um, Pastor Dan, Pastor Pedro, and Pastora Angela. 
We also pray for the Spanish congregation, Juan, Lina, Gladys, and for the South Korean congregation, Ki San Lee, Moon Hee Lee, and for the North Korean congregation, John Hwa Lee, Hei Suk Lee, and sa MCB staff, Star, Curtis, Nick, and Maynor. We pray, Lord God, na palagi nyo po silang gagabayan and always um give them um the safety that they need Lord God and also their family give them the guidance and sa family din po nila Lord God and also provide for their needs <clears throat> maging sa physically mentally or financially needs man and Lord God we believe that you will provide all of this for them and we pray Lord God na Everything will be going well according to your plan, Lord Jesus. Na it will not be the will of a man, but will nyo, Lord God, lahat ng mangyayari. And we also pray, Lord God, yung pagkasundusan dun ng mga congregation as um, we should be, Lord God. And, I, and we all know, Lord God, na yun ang gusto nyo makita, Lord God, is to love one another, love our neighbors, love our sisters and brothers, Lord God. And Lord... We pray, Lord God, for our hearts and for everyone's hearts na you touch our hearts and every congregation's hearts, Lord God, na magkaroon po kami ng like, um, sense of favor na gumaan yung loob namin sa isa't isa. And we also pray, Lord God, na lumago ang bawat congregation, members, and whatever needs, Lord God. We pray, Lord God, na you will also keep everyone um, else's desire, hearts, pure. Na iisipin lang po is for your glory na walang bida-bida. Sabi nga po na ikaw lang po ang bida, Lord Jesus, sa lahat ng congregation na ito. Na pa sa simbahan ng Nazarene at sa ibang simbahan din po, Lord God. In Jesus' name, Amen. Amen. Thank you, uh, Alison, uh, for complete healing, provisions, comfort, peace, and other concerns. Sister Josie, kindly lead us uh, sa ating complete healing uh, prayer request. Thank you. Hallelujah. Patuloy po kami sa diwa ng panalangin. Lord, nilalapit po namin ang mga kapatiran namin na ito, Panginoon. Si, si, si Brother Alvin and Sister I, Amy. May chop and fold po, Panginoon. Lord, dalangin po namin ang kagalingan na nagmumula sa iyo, Panginoon. Bigyan po sila ng kagalingan, Panginoon, para makasama po namin sila sa Thanksgiving fellowship namin sa Friday, Lord. Alam po namin, Panginoon, na makakarating po sila at pagagalingin mo na po sila, Lord, in Jesus' name. Ganun din po kay Danilo Pagio, Complete Recovery, Lord. Dalangin po namin ang Patuloy na kagalingan, Panginoon. At alam po namin, Panginoon, na makaka-recover po siya sa sakit na dinaranas siya ngayon, Panginoon, sa biyay at tulong mo, Lord. Ganon din po kay Romy Diwa, Lord, ang KD problem. Lord, dalangin po namin ang kagalingan din po na nagmumula sa iyo. Alam po namin na pagagalingin mo po siya, Panginoon. At alam po namin na ikaw ang aming great healer. Kaya kahit po na, na hindi po namin ito Uh, sinasabi, alam mo na po ito, Panginoon, pero gusto mo po, ipinapanalangin po namin ito para i-bless mo rin po, Panginoon, ang mga nananalangin sa kanila, Lord. Alam po namin, Panginoon, na uh, ngayon pa lamang po, Panginoon, ibinigay mo na po ang kagaling na nagmumula sa iyo. Ganon din po, ipoprovide mo rin po ang kanilang pangangailangan, Panginoon. Ganon din po kay... Uh, Greg Yarman, Lord, complete healing. Lord, alangin po namin, Panginoon, na bigyan mo po siya ng complete healing. Din po, Panginoon, nagmumula sa iyo, Lord, hindi na po lumala yung iniinda po niyang uh, sakit, Panginoon, ngayon, Lord. At alam po namin, mag-stop na po ito, Panginoon. Uh, ganun din po kay Patrick Noel, able to walk in the, the church, Lord. Ito po yung pinakamimiti namin. At ganun din po ang kanyang family, Panginoon na makalakad po yung kanilang kaisa-isahang anak. Lord, bigyan mo po ng kalakasan yung mga muscles niya, yung ginagawa po mga therapy sa kanya. Lord, nawa po, Panginoon, ito ay uh, maging uh, tulay para po siya ay makalakad na po, Panginoon. Ito po yung pinakahihintay namin, Panginoon, dahil alam po namin na ito po ay malaking uh, 
uh, <clears throat> patutuo, Panginoon, sa iyong mga anak, Lord. At wala, alam po namin, Panginoon, wala imposible sa iyo. Lahat ay posible sa iyo, Panginoon. Magtiwala lamang kami sa iyo, Panginoon. At uh, magintay kami, Panginoon. In your time, Panginoon, mangyayari po ito. At uh, alam po namin, Panginoon, na ang lahat ng aming ipinalangin, ipinanalangin niya ito, Lord, ay uh, alam po namin na tutugunin mo, Panginoon, dahil ikaw ay Diyos na mabuti, Diyos na maalam sa lahat, Diyos na hindi na ipabago. Ikaw noon ngayon at magpakailaman, Panginoon, magtiwala lamang po kami sa iyo, Panginoon. At alam po namin na ipagkakaloob mo ang lahat ng aming hiniling sa iyo, Panginoon. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. Thank you, Dr. Josie. For complete healing from cancer, Akio uh, Mani, kindly lead us in prayer. Thank you. Thank you, Lord. Father, we just come to you today, tonight. Continue to lift up to you, Lord, these concerns, mga kapatid, Panginoon, regarding their health issues. Lord, we pray for Tess Uri, Lord, for, he, for her ovarian cancer. We pray for Sister Edna Labirindo for her breast. We pray for Brother Ricardo Madrid for his lungs. Noah de Guzman for his bones. For Tita Eli Heradura, for her stomach and for Rachel, for lungs. God, we pray that you will, oh God, touch their bodies, God. From the top of their head to the very tips of their toes. Let your healing power, God, move in their lives, Lord, in the name of Jesus. Father, we declare healing upon their lives. Kayo po ang provide ng lahat ng mga pangangailangan, Lord, even those... Uh, family members, I know, Panginoon, this is kind of like very challenging, but Lord, we pray for your hand to be upon each and every member of their household, that you will strengthen them, Lord, continue to embrace them, give them, Lord, the comfort, Panginoon, bigyan mo sila ng kalakasan, Lord, to take care, oh God, of their family members na may mga uh, cancer, Panginoon, Lord, salamat, niyahabili namin sila sa inyo, and Lord, we just declare healing, you are our greatest physician, God, thank you, God, for healing them. Even now, we want to thank you in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Thank you, Sister Janet. For personal supplication, uh, let, uh, let us pray for a special favor and request. Uh, Sister okay. Janet, kindly uh, lead us again. I'm sorry. In Jesus' name. Lord, we pray for this special favor and uh, requests, O oh God. Lord, we pray for my husband, Lord, as he goes in the Philippines. I just pray that you will just give him, Lord, the strength, Panginoon, yung mga ayusin niya doon. I just pray that you will help him. Yung siya ng wisdom, Lord God. We pray for Eva, Panginoon, for her green card to be released as soon as time possible, Panginoon. Lord, we pray for Shaylee's case to be done. Matapos na po ito, Panginoon. Magkaroon na, Panginoon, ng ng clarity yung mga bagay na ito para matapos na din Lord yung stress doon sa bata maging sa kanya mga magulang matapos na ang mga bagay-bagay Lord we pray for district license renewal to pass the panel interview recommendation approval for our pastor pastor Jeff we lift him up to you Lord continue to just give him God the favor the strength Panginoon kayo po ang gumawa ng upang patuloy ng Panginoon may pagpatuloy ang paglilingkod niya sa inyo. Thank you so much, God, for our brothers and sisters who are planning to to be wed. We pray for Eder and for Sister Jelly, for, for Brother Dennis and even for Mao. We pray for Shane and Almira and even for Steve and Michelle. We pray for mighty provisions, oh God. And kung ano man Panginoon yung mga pangangailangan nila emotionally, spiritually, um, financially, Lord, continue, God, to to provide for every need that they have, O oh God, right now. We lift them up to you, God. Father, we pray for Joshua as well, for his documents, in days where he'll, he'll going to stay and find work. And Lord, just pray for Joshua that you will take good care of him. Lord, we know that you have a very great plan for his life. Lord, even right now, we pray for safety and for all these concerns that he has. Lord, we want to thank you that soon, mga documents niya, Panginoon, ay maayos na. He will have a comfortable place where he could stay and he will be able, oh God, to find a work. Lord, we pray for Lauren, for Ivan Del Rosario, even uh, 
for Job to be more socially adjusted. Lord, salamat po sa mga buhay ng aming mga kapatid na ito. Kayo po ang patuloy, O Diyos, na magbigay ng uh, mga pangangailangan nila emotionally, mentally, socially. Lord, continue, O God, to surround them with your grace and your favor. And we just entrust to you, Lord, each and every one of them. Salamat po, Panginoon, sa kasagutan sa aming mga panalangin. In Jesus' name, Amen. Amen. Thank you, Susan Janet. Uh, <clears throat> If there's any uh sorry if there's any um for our popcorn prayer if, if there's any uh prayer that you wish to utter uh please do so uh before that I'd like to read a message here uh, in giving thanks in all circumstances I always remember my parents saying that every day is a blessing kahit na good or bad days or circumstances papasalamat natin kay Lord the mere fact na every day tayo nagigising at nabubuhay that is already a blessing that is why i want to start my day always thanking the lord for the circumstances same answers po sa mga nabanggit kanina sa second scenario kaya galing uh, message kay CJ okay for your and uh, other prayer uh uh utterance if you wish to pray Uh, you can uh, you can do so you can start now for our uh, popcorn prayer lord we're praying for our connecting events lord na lahat po ng mga um connecting events po namin starting with the thanksgiving service this coming friday and the workers appreciation day this coming sunday lord and For the rest of our events this year lord uh, may you guide us bless us lord and be in our midst for every event and for every Sunday service that we have, Lord. And uh, po, uh, through these connecting events, Lord, marami pa po kaming ma-invite na mga tao na hindi pa po nakakakilala sa inyo, Lord. At uh, maging uh, tulay po kami upang makakilala sila sa inyo at uh, magamit nyo rin po sila. And we're praying, Lord, for more workers sa aming church, Lord. <clears throat> Alam po namin na may target goal po kami. Um, na 200 members, Lord. And alam po namin na kayo po ang nagbigay nito na uh, uh, nagbigay po sa amin ng wisdom, Lord, to have this target do- goal na ma-reach po yung 200. And we need more workers, Lord, sa aming church, Lord. Alam po namin na ipagkakaloob nyo po ito, not just in uh, quantity but in quality, Lord. And ipuin nyo po lahat na aming church members, lalo na po yung mga matatagal na, Lord, na hindi pa po sila nag-serve uh, sa inyo, Lord. Alam po namin na In your time, Lord, they will be serving you full-heartedly. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray. Amen. Lord, salamat po sa kapangyarihan ng panalangin sa aming pagwawakas na may Panginoon na i-bless sa kaming lahat, Panginoon. The, uh, the Lord bless you and keep you. The Lord make His face shine upon you and be gracious to you. The Lord turn His face toward you and give you peace. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. You are all blessed. Amen. Amen. So, uh, buksan na natin mga bintana at tayo po ay uh, mag ano, mag uh, mag picture picture okay buksan ang iyong bintana okay okay hello excited na ba kayo para sa Friday Thanksgiving mm-hmm. apo pastor excited na Eh, okay, lang natin yung iba. Ang hapit ba? Ang hapit ba? Ang hapit ba? Ang hapit ba? Ang Okay. At the count of three, ayan na sila, Anaya. Parang lumaki si Anaya. Okay. One, two, three, smile. There you go. God bless you. See you on Friday. Bye-bye. Bye. Bye. Good night. Bye po. Good night. Bye.